In this session, we're going to expose an HTTP endpoint for our Lambda function. Since Lambda functions don't expose these HTTP endpoints, we actually have to go for a service called API Gateway. There would be a lot of setup, but serverless, thankfully, is abstracting away all that kind of stuff. Um, so what you have to define is an HTTP event with the path and the method get. We also want to rename the function from hello to current time because we expect to return the current time. We do this in our handler chairs as well. Here we have to change the exported function. And then as a next step, we want to change the message from go serverless to returning the current time. So we type in current time and then we use string interpolation to provide the actual time string. We use new date here, which returns the current time and then to time string to convert it to a time string. All right, so far so good. Let's also remove the input event because it doesn't add value in our case. All right, after that, we want to redeploy. So our new changes take effect. And what's new here is that our output from the serverless deploy will contain an HTTP get endpoint. We can now take this URL, invoke it with curl and see the current time. Cool, now we attached an HTTP endpoint to Lambda function.